Hey guys, this is actually um, my first video of uh, doing one of these. I want to thank you guys for hitting 100 subscribers. Um, I'm really thankful for that. And in honor of hitting 100 subscribers on our channel, I'm going to do how to get more views slash subscribers. Now you're probably saying, well you only have 135 views or whatever, 37. That might be the case, but it only took a short amount of time to get there. It only took you guys two months, two months to hit that goal. And it, it, it's incredible. It's really incredible. So anyways, first step is Googling it. Googling your topic that you want to do. Now, but you have to Google it first to see how many views that topic will get. If you want to be noticed on YouTube, probably I would suggest uh, posting a popular video with a lot of views. That would help um, jumpstart your, uh, your channel. And uh, people will notice it. If that's a popular topic that people keep on searching, do that video. If you want to help boost your channel, that would be the best way. Um, step two would be quality. That can range from anywhere from an iPhone camera to a um, webcam. That I would not suggest. iPhone cameras, yeah, they're really good. I, I've i never found like a problem with them. But the one I'm using right now is actually an iPhone camera. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. I enjoy it. Um, Probably the uh, popular YouTubers would be shaking their heads right now when I say that, but I I don't know why, but I like them. And it's a cheap way out, basically. Second thing I would suggest would be um, a GoPro camera. Now, GoPro cameras are usually used for stunts in sports, but it could also be a good vlog camera. But except the audio quality. The audio quality is not good on a um, GoPro. It's actually not meant for that, it's just meant for recording video. Now you can I bet you can attach a microphone to this, but that could get pretty expensive, so I wouldn't suggest that, especially finding a good microphone. But other than that, yeah, you're all set. Um a regular, even like a regular photo camera. Ones that you use to take a picture of the Grand Canyon or something. Like, just all you have to do is just hit the little record button and just record away. But I wouldn't suggest that either. I would suggest something like this. Now, I know what you're thinking. No, it is actually a really good um, camera. A lot of YouTubers actually use those kind of cameras, not those kind of fancy movie cameras. I mean, some of the movie cameras that I worked with in my uh, film class, those were really low quality, and I didn't really uh, like them. They were even worse than the iPhone. I mean, the iPhone was way better than this, plus the audio quality. I mean, you might have a boot mic, but that's not going to change anything. I mean, that's how you spot an amateur with the microphone that is being used, which goes into uh, the last camera, which is the uh, webcam. Audio on some computers are really bad. Plus, you have the fan going in the background from the uh, laptop, which makes it really bad. And it makes it even worse. And, um, I mean, they're really low quality. I would just use them for just taking selfies, I guess, which I don't know. I mean, I guess that's what you can use the iPhone for, I don't know. I do not like them. Third step, getting good audio quality. Um, Having good audio quality is really, really important. That's how you um, will not get spotted to being an amateur recorder. I mean, I know I am an amateur recorder, but I'm not sure how the audio will turn out later on in this video. But, because <laughs> I don't have any microphones set up, I'm just really, I'm talking really loud to you guys. But anyways, that's how you spot an amateur um, YouTuber or an amateur filmmaker, is by the audio. What I suggest doing is probably getting one of those little tiny mics. Would suggest you can you can just go to Amazon and get like a seventeen dollar one or ten dollar one. Mm, that's fine. Right? Mm, it's the cheap way. I don't know. That's, that's that's the way I would do it. Unless you want to go for the fancier ones, which probably would promise you a really good quality, which are like three hundred bucks or whatever. Mm. 
should not do that, please. That would just be a waste of your money. The fourth thing I would suggest is, well, filters. If you want to use filters, that's great, but you can always go to the hashtag no filter. If you want to jump a little extra step um, into the right direction, then I would suggest, I would suggest probably changing the filters or even the brightness on it. Just play around with that for a couple minutes with a, um, with a, uh, not your actual video, but like just record something really random and play with the, um, the, uh, filter, like the contrast and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Or even just, you know, using filters, like, like almost like Instagram filters, that's the only way I can explain it really. But yeah. And finally, I would like to talk about this video. Now, if you want to make something like this, I suggest not having like two subscribers to make this video. Probably like a hundred or even a thousand. Even not, even higher than that if you want. But, um, this, I'm using right now, um, a green screen. It's not even a green screen, it's actually, um, just my wall. My bedroom wall. I'm on my bed right now. All I want to say is, um, Thank you guys for watching and hitting um, 137 subscribers. That's incredible, especially in a two month period. Like that's insane. And here I just came on YouTube not knowing that I was going to hit 100 subscribers. I was just doing it for fun and posting videos for just me and my friends and stuff. Didn't realize people would actually watch it, but that's still incredible and amazing. That was my five easy steps on how to get one of you slash subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching.